All right, in order to access Microsoft Planner, you'll go to office.com and go to the top left corner and click on the dots. You should see Microsoft Planner in your app section, but if you don't, you can always click on All Apps and you'll find Microsoft Planner there. So once you're in Microsoft Planner, you can go to the left panel and click New Plan. You can choose a new plan from scratch that you create, or you can choose from a variety of options that Microsoft Planner gives you. For now, let's go with the simple plan. So you can title your plan. I'm going to title mine Tech Tip Videos. You have an option to add to an existing group that you may have in Teams, which I'll show you how to connect later. And you can also choose the privacy of your plan. It can either be public or private. Public means that your entire organization has access to your plan, and private means that it's only the members of your team that you select. So I'm going to click private for now and I can always add team members later and press create. Before we start our planning endeavors, let's go over some basic settings and functions of a plan in Microsoft Planner. In order to access the settings, you can either click the three dots at the top and press plan settings, or you can simply press the name of the plan. The general plan settings will allow you to customize the background design and the plan name. The notification section will allow you to choose whether you are notified when someone assigns a task to you or the due date of the task. If you were to be the owner of the plan, you can choose to delete the plan and this will show up on the bottom left corner of plan settings. And you can also change the privacy settings from public to private or vice versa or add new members to the plan. Now here's where the fun begins. Let's start planning. So first I'm going to start by adding a bucket. A bucket is a way for you to group similar ideas in one area. So for my tech tip videos, I may have a bucket like ideas, planning, recording, and editing. You may have different buckets depending on what you're planning. Maybe you're starting a new project and you'll have different buckets for that. But for now, let's stick with these buckets. Now that we have our buckets, let's add some tasks. So I'm going to start in ideas and press add task. This task is going to be brainstorm tech tip ideas. So I can set a due date for this task and I'm going to say one week from today. And you can assign people to the task. I'm going to assign myself. And then I'll press add task. So now I have this brainstorm tech tip ideas task. And when I click on it, it brings me to a page where I can add many more details. So I can add a label Say I want my ideas section to be green. You can add many different colors and customize your plans labels. You can add the progress of your task. You can add a priority level. I'm going to keep it at medium for now, but you can make it important, urgent, or even low. I'm going to start this task today. And like I said, it's going to be due a week from today. You can also set this task to repeat. And I'm going to repeat this task weekly. Maybe this is something that I need to research every week. You can type a description or add notes about your task. You can add an attachment. Say we have an Excel file for tech tip ideas. I could add that here for reference. And most importantly, you can make a checklist. This helps you separate a larger task into much smaller tasks and makes it easier to visualize and stay organized. So maybe I will need to research tech tips and then maybe I will need to come up with five ideas. And then I will need to meet and discuss ideas. So when you're done with an item, 
you can check it off the list and it'll cross it off. So I'm going to click out of here and you can also check it off straight on the planner and it will delete and it will so show the progress of your task right here. It will say I've completed one out of three tasks. Now that we have our plan ready to go, let's talk about some different ways that we can view our plan. Here we have the general board, but you can also view it as a grid to see a more consolidated version of your plan. You can also view your plan as a chart, where you can see how many tasks you have left, how each bucket is doing, the priority level of each task, and the members that the tasks are assigned to. You can also view it as a schedule where it will put your tasks into a calendar. But say you use your Outlook calendar regularly. Well, when the owner publishes the plan, you'll have the option at the bottom here to add plan to Outlook calendar. So you can see your tasks in a calendar here or even in your Outlook. Another interesting way to view your board is to go over here to the top right corner and press group by bucket. Right now the tasks are grouped into buckets but we can group the tasks in different ways. Say I want to see all the tasks that are assigned to me. I can group by assigned to, and I can see all the tasks that I have to do. You can also group by progress and see what's been started, what's in progress, and what's completed. You can group by due date, labels, or priority. There are plenty of different options. Some other important planner features to note are the members and filter tabs at the top of planner. So on the members tab, if I click here, if I were to own this plan, I could add new members to the plan. Say you forgot to add a member when you made the plan or a new member joins the team, you can add them here. You can also, also filter through tasks. So if I have a task that I wanna see what's due tomorrow or this week or next week, I can click that and it will filter through the tasks and only display those. The final and perhaps most exciting feature of Microsoft Planner is the ability to connect it to Microsoft Teams. So to do this, you'll go to your Microsoft Teams app, and on the left column you'll click on Teams. You'll select the team that you want to add your planner to, and on the top you'll click the plus button. You'll select the task by planner, and you can either create a new plan directly in Teams, or use an existing plan that's linked to this team. So I'm going to click Tech Tip Videos and click Save. So now I can edit my plan directly in Microsoft Teams, and it will sync what I already had in Microsoft Planner. Thank you for spending some time with me in Microsoft Planner today, and I hope it helps you and your team stay more organized. As always, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out our past Tech Tip videos, future Tech Tip videos, and all things Sundog. We'll see you next time and happy planning.